There's a good stroke. They'll get their four anyway, and England two for 30. Lily's over cost him six runs, and his figures now are one for 17, as you see. There's Lily just uh, flexing his right leg, looking as though he's not putting too much weight on it. Might be carrying an injury in that uh, right leg, possibly the right thigh. Certainly not happy about it. Walker now to Ness again and the same sort of stroke as the previous one we saw. He'll get two. As Mallet's return and a good one comes back to Marsh. There's Lily now who's adjusting his boot. I'm not at all sure that uh, some that uh, this isn't to do with a possible injury. There it is again, another lovely cut or drive, square of the wicket. Redpath may stop this one before it reaches the fence. The batsmen have run two and Dines uh, three, and Dines is coming back for the fourth. Well run. Very well run by Edrich and Dines. Dines moves on to 18, and England two for 40. Well, a perfect stroke. It, I thought a little bit dangerous when they first played it, but it certainly found the middle of the bat, and it's four runs. Beautiful delivery. Good cover drive from Edrich. It's going out towards that long boundary. They'll probably get three here. That's red path the field. And between the, between the two fieldsmen there, between the second slip and the finer of the two gullies, not a good shot from Dines, and into the boundary for four it goes. This time finding the gap, it's a well-played shot, it's perfectly timed, it's racing out towards that long boundary, it won't be four, they've taken two, and they're coming back for a third. Well, that was a full toss and well taken care of by Dines. It's racing out towards that long boundary. No hope for Edwards. And that's the 100 up for England. And chopped nicely by Dines. Placed it well, going down towards the long boundary. Uh, I think Jenner will get this one. They've taken two and they'll turn for three. And there's the 50 to Mike Dines. And second 50 in consecutive matches. And for him, a splendid return to form after such a dismal series. Dines 51, Edrich 48, 2 for 111. Great shot by Dines. He gave himself a bit of room that time. That was a, a sort of a Doug Walter shot. He moved away from the stumps and hit it very firmly through the cover area. Perfect shot. And there's that stroke that he's played so well during this innings. A square drive, a long chase for Redpath. I think there'll be four runs. Now, Edrich is only running fairly slowly, but there's four if they want it. Walker now bowling to Edrich. <laughs> My goodness, I don't think I've seen Edrich hit a ball harder than that. And Mallet bowls to Dines. And a good stroke, straight down the ground. It's a long chase for Walters, uh, giving up a very good off drive. And this one's through. Walters will stop it. In the meanwhile, Dines goes through for his third. Dines, 78 in England. A good-looking shot that time. It's going right out to the long boundary. I think it could be four. And slowly it rolls into the fence for four. And Dines goes on to 94.
And beautifully fielded again. A shot to Stumps. That would have been out. And overthrows. Missed the Stumps. The nest was certainly out of his ground. And they'll take two. That throw by Redpath would have not have missed the Stumps by any more than 10 centimetres. It wasn't too far away. And the nest was a long way out. And that's coming down to the boundary. That, that, we'll see about this. It's going right down to the sight board. We'll have to wait for the umpire's call here. It's a four, that's his hundred. That was off the bat, so that must have nearly been a chance. But the Ness's 40th century, he has 101. Well, the Ness's finest moment of this whole tour. Captain of England, after such a dismal series, in the last test, the sixth test here in Melbourne, scoring a century. Well done, Mike Deness. Number two, Deness. And it, through the second slip area, there's no one there. It was in the air, straight down to the fence for four. That was well wide of Ian Chapel. In the air, could be a chance. No. Marsh couldn't make it. Let's, we'll probably won't be sure by the movement of the players. Everybody seems to react to it the way Marsh moved up. What do you think, Paul Chair? Yes, that was definitely off the glove, but uh, it lobbed very close to the wickets and there was no fieldsman within 20 metres. You can see the ball short there, strikes Mark Tenes on the gloves, uh, flies in a gentle arc, but it's very close to the wickets and doesn't give Rod Marsh any chance to get underneath it to complete the catch. England began the third day in an ideal position, 121 runs ahead, seven wickets still in hand, and Dennis and Fletcher well in control. Australia had to contain them today, and in fact, without Lilly in the first hour, they did a very good job. Just 22 runs coming from 11 overs. Here now is Jeff Dimmock, bowling to England captain Mike Dennis. And through the covers, great shot from Dennis. Four all the way, that's his 150. The Ness, 153. Fletcher, 62. England, 3 for 299. And the Ness has been there now for 401 minutes. He's hit 12 fours. And down through the third man area, that's the shot they were trying to tempt the Ness on, but uh, that wasn't a catch by any means. It was beautifully played. That's the 300 up for England for the first time in this series. And a beautiful shot from Vaness. Clean through the covers. Beautifully off the back foots from Vaness through the covers. This will be four runs. A shot we've, played, we've seen played so often by Vaness. Good shot. Forced away through wide mid on. It's going out towards the fence. Chapel is after. They've run two. They'll take three. Swings as runs here back with a square leg. It's racing out to the boundary. Four runs. Sweetly timed shot by Fletcher. Takes him into the 80s. 82. Three for 345. Now in Chapel to Fletcher. And down the final leg area, it's racing away to the boundary. There's no fieldsman within 50 metres of that ball, and that's four, an easy four to Fletcher. And caught and bowled. Great effort. Magnificent catch by Walker. Once again, Vaness walking away and playing straight back. And Vaness, a fine innings, caught and bowled by Walker for 188, four for 359. Well, what a great catch there by Max Walker. Vaness was obviously looking for these shots on the offside, strolling away to the leg side and pounding the ball off the back foot through the offside field. On that occasion, he stepped right away and failing to get enough left arm into the shot, hit it with the bottom hand and Walker, diving to his right, brought off a miraculous catch. Vaness. Out, caught and bowled, Walker. 188, falling 12 short of Hammond's all-time record for an Englishman on the Melbourne Cricket Ground of 200, scored in 1928-29.